Komori, we're constantly refining our solutions to help you streamline your production process, connecting the dots so you don't have to. We let you focus on printing, doing more with less. A person with years of experience in all of that and a significant perspective on the entire industry is Komori Director of Product Management, Doug Shard. Thank you so much for joining us today, Doug. Thanks, Amy. It's great to see you too. For decades, Komori has been known for their innovation in the printing industry. So to start with, what's the latest new technology from Komori? Well, Komori has some awesome new technology, but it's not one single thing, it's many things. We continue to advance on the press side. As a matter of fact, we're introducing the GL Ed Advanced series, and it's going to be available both on the GL and the GLX series. Um, and the Advanced really defines a direction for Komori. There's, there's some better sheet handling control on press for problem stocks or very lightweight stocks, things that are traditionally hard to feed and deliver. Um, but it, it also encompasses things like compressed make ready time by using parallel functions where um, many make ready functions are happening at the same time. Overall, much, much shorter make ready. We have a super efficient uh, pre-inking program called KHSAI with some advanced light coverage controls on it. Um, we've got electronic vision that not only is checking defects, but it's controlling color while you run on every sheet and it's doing register and it can even automatically put the job on count when certain criteria have been met. You know, the, the, the breadth of Komori technology is, is pretty broad. But that's just on the press. We can also leverage things like the Internet of Things and use the power of software and computing and connections to not only let management see job transparently through the plant, but we can have machines talk to machines. And we use a, a, a piece of software called KP Connect for that, which is a cloud-based software where that can go up and collect data and actually um, give you that data back in some easy to understand uh, graphical displays as well as numerical displays so you know exactly how things are, are running through your plant um, with some precision and as soon as you know that you can get your costs down. What advantages will Komori customers see with this technology? Well the advantages are, are pretty broad. Um, one is you can pick the technology that suits your needs in particular. You don't need to get everything you can get exactly what will help your shop the most. But really the over, overarching message on everything is, is streamlining workflow, trying to address the labor shortage that everybody's experiencing right now, and cutting out inefficient costs. Because you know, inefficiency and cost kind of go hand in hand in my view. You know, the more inefficient you are, the higher your costs are gonna be. So the better we can reduce costs, you get more efficient, and at the same time, by increasing efficiency, you reduce costs. But with re respect to the benefits that a customer will get from this, you know, it's really addressing the pain points in a shop. You know, workflow is pretty important today. You know, processing a job from the feeder to the delivery has always been important, and we keep advancing on that. In fact, there's a lot of features here to do exactly that. But even more than that, we have to start looking at automation of the workflow through the plant. The beginnings of that, the, the using the internet of things to start connecting equipment up to give management kind of a transparent vision through their whole plan of where jobs are and what's the process. And if there's a bottleneck, you know, it can be addressed quickly because you can see it. You know, the computers are powerful, software is powerful, but so are people. But people can't be everywhere. Software can. It, it, it's there on the machines all the time. So as machine speeds are going up to 18,000, we're using electronic vision to check every sheet for defects, to manage color on, while you're running. I mean, it's, it, it's better than a person can do, in all honesty. So transitioning um, from what was historically a pretty manual event now is going into a more, much more technological event and the features of the advanced press and what Komori's offering, every step of the way there's a, a helping hand that comes into it from even just making sure what you print is correct. And I don't mean while you're printing it, but before you print it. A PDF comparison, for example, where we're checking what you're gonna print compared to what your client really wants you to print to make sure nothing dropped off in pre-press or plate got scratched or anything like that, even down to that level. 
All of the technology is there with Komori to help streamline that whole workflow. And that is gonna probably put more money into the, the account at every month than anything. Interesting. Now, from your perspective, what issues do you see in the market today and how is Komori addressing these issues? Well, solving today's problems in a, in a print market um, you know, can take a lot of different avenues and Komori is really kind of addressing all of them. One of the things is you'll see a lot more nuanced machine configurations like a 37 inch or a reverse printer. Another thing you'll see is you know, highly leveraged use of software and uh, the internet of things and um, connected automation, things like that. But even more than that, you see Komori starting to reach out to with the purchase of MBO, where we can now start linking our technology with uh, bindery equipment to really make a workflow flow through the plant as efficiently as possible. I suppose it goes without saying that speed of operation is very important for productivity. What strides has Komori made in that area? Well, speed of operation is a critical part of any printer. You know, printing is, is manufacturing, and the faster you can get products out, the, the better off you are. In, and, and over a lot of uh, areas, you know, good business doesn't change, and good business um, the elements are the same today as they were 20 years ago. You know, it's, it's get your costs down, get your profits up, um, do good work. You know, so speed is, has to fall under that umbrella of, of those three things. So by going faster, obviously your costs go down because the job's in your plant less. Um, going faster also generally increases profitability because again, it's in your plant less. The more you can get out, the greater your billing is, the, the more jobs you produce in a year. You know, it's just overall, it's, it's good common sense in business. Um, but Komori looks at it not anymore just strictly on press, but they look at it through an entire plant. How do we speed up the workflow that from jobs that literally come in the door to when they go out the door? Now, some of it, granted, we don't have a huge impact on, but we can track where jobs are. We can, we can help that. Um, we have a great piece of software that can help watch electronically jobs as they flow through the plant and where they are at any given stage so that the, the essence of speed can be maintained you know, from day to day, job to job, month to month, you know, the, the whole range on that. Okay. That's good news. How about packaging? Is that an important field for Komori customers? Uh, packaging is an incredibly important area for, for Komori. You know, it's, a, it's an area of expanded growth. More and more printers are getting into packaging because the economy requires more packaging these days. So, of course, our equipment has to be designed to give a, a high degree of advantage to package applications. And that means, you know, thick stock going in and coming out of the press, so stock handling is always important. And even how the sheet is handled in the press. For example, we have a reverse printing press, a GLX uh, RP, that's, we, we phrase it RP, but it's really a reverse printer. It it's also falls under the advanced series press. And it's a press that can print on both sides of the sheet without flipping the sheet. And just that alone negates the, the worry of a, a gripper margin at the tail. You, you don't need that anymore, so you can run smaller sheets. You don't have to worry about back trimming stock. You don't have to worry about layouts. It's just like a straight press, except it prints on the on both sides of the sheet. So it's a it's a great ad, um, advantage to be doing that with packaging because board is fairly expensive materials. So anybody doing folding cartons or anything like that, sh if you, if you really want to put ink on both sides, should absolutely be taking a look at the RP press. As a matter of fact, we just won uh, an Intertech award for the GLX RP, um, and that comes on the heels of the Intertech award we won in 2017 for the IS29, which is a digital inkjet device, and we had great success with that. The award wasn't won just because it was a clever press design. It it, it was won because it offers a tremendous amount of advantages to a printer because of the 
automation enhancements we can do on the press um, for automatic job sequencing and inkjet numbering for serializing each sheet so you know exactly what your sheet counts are both for good sheets and waste sheets um, the PDF comparators the parallel control for the automation to really condense the time I mean you just start bringing that all together you add logistics to a feeder or delivery you might even add two or three deliveries um, for, and, it, and each one has a function, but bringing all the Komori technology together on a very ad advantageous platform like the RP is really why we won the award. And that's why, again, I would encourage anybody that's running stock that requires ink on both sides, take a look at the RP and find out what kind of advantages it can offer you. Well, you've certainly covered a lot. Anything else our viewers should know? Well, I think one of the biggest advantages to Komori Press is really the, the financial benefits it brings to a, a company. And usually we can measure that with, with return on investment. So when you take everything I've been talking about with the efficiencies on the make ready and the reduction in waste and the replacement with labor skills, um, and you know I haven't even talked about the efficiency with energy usage on press and solvent usage and you know just everything that goes into a cost bucket really gets reduced with Komori. And the ROI at the end of that, you know, for what you invest and what you get out of that is literally unparalleled. I can't find another press that produces quite that level of ROI. So I'd say that's probably one of the biggest messages Komori has. Thank you so much, Doug. We really appreciate your time today. Well, my pleasure, Amy. Thanks for having me.